Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to my lovely podcast or a TV show that matter. Anyway, anyway, this is your this is your host of the most, yours truly, Dave Nation. Yes, of all Daves around the world who have the name Dave around. Uh, there's Dave in the Bible. There's Dave, David Goliath. Did I see more? But anyway, who anybody who has a, a name by name Dave or David could mean na different names. Um, this one's for you. Listen up and listen good. By the way, the Democrats, I'm going to say for the record, for anybody who's listening out there in the United States or Canada, the Democrats want you to think they want to impeach, get this, President of the United States. Impeach him. Kick him out of office. He's not fit for office. The Democrats like to keep going on TV saying that. It's like a broken record. Uh, and nothing gets done. And it's like, you know, the circle of white too many times. I'm not sounding like a Democrat, folks, but we heard this too many times. It's It sounds like it's at nauseum. Uh, I mean, I kid you not, at nauseum. It's like, it's like, hit, it's like hitting yourself like a brick. I don't mean people do that, but at nauseum. Um, my two cents on the Donald Trump, the President of the United States, where you see him on TV on press conference at the podiums, um, I like the guy. I really do like the guy. Um, he's trying his darnest to keep the United States better. Not worse, but better. Better for everybody else, better for you and me, and, and the Americans. Uh, what else could I say? Donald Trump is fit for office. This is my two cents on it. He's fit for office. He, everybody just seems to get off, off the bandwagon and really throw dirt at it, uh, essentially. And they, they can't really impeach Donald Trump until February. Uh, they can do as much impeach uh, <laughs> I can't even say it properly, impeach him in February. This year, they're trying their darnest. Nancy Pelosi, I saw her, what, a few days ago? And she was, uh, uh, and get this, she never once said impeachment. Can you believe it? in her entire uh, press conference? I kid you not. Um, and Nancy Pelosi, I, I'm pretty sure she's still the Speaker of the House, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this, uh, if you're listening in, or did you hear what I have to say on this? But yeah, Nancy Pelosi and all those people at Capitol Hill, uh, if you watch CNN uh, religiously, I mean really religiously, you know where Capitol Hill is. Um, big lo long hallways, uh, big hallways, I mean, I don't know, you can, you don't get uh, uh, big hallways, these are big hallways, you can see it from the camera angles. Uh, big hallways, and uh, and they're going on press conference, and they don't want an impeachment. They're trying their darnest to not have impeachment going, uh, and um, yeah, so they can try their darnest to impeach Donald Trump, but they're not. Bear that in mind. Do you hear what I'm saying? They can they can impeach him all they want until the cows come home, but they're not really doing that. Um, I just got to say one more other thing. The singer I want to mention here also, this is a singer from the early mid-90s, I kid you not. She had an album, and get this, her family didn't uh, uh, didn't like it. Didn't like the album that she put out. This is mid-90s, I kid you not. It was around, I would say, 93, 94. Um, and she celebrated her song, her, fir her first song, 25th anniversary of her very own song in 2019. 25 years later. Too late, I should say. But nonetheless, this singer, um, very controversy on her title of her song. I kid you not. Uh, and uh, it's a dance song. I'll give her that. It's a dance song that's very controversy. <laughs> if you listen to the song, the actual music video, you'll know what I mean. Um, but they don't try and ban these videos. They just let them be either put on YouTube or they they don't start banning videos. They don't ban videos. They essentially don't ban videos. Much as they like to, but they can't. Essentially can't. But I just want to say for the record that this girl, I, I was yesterday, I just saw her YouTube video. It's an original music video from back in the day. I kid you not, 25 years later. 
and it wasn't 60 by 9 it wasn't HD quality video it was like that uh, how should we say for a uh, 4.3 ratio with the with the black boxes on the side and these are music videos these are production music videos at its best uh, if you want to get if you want uh, you know I, I lived through all this just so you know folks I lived through it 30 years of all this music industry that's gone through uh, through I'll give you an example she did the, uh, the song that nobody wants to do kind of thing and uh, music producers might not like the title of the song but they put it out anyway kind of thing because uh, remember it's money people think it's like money to them it's money once they get the artists out there the, sing uh, the singer songwriter artists out there it's money to them it's essentially money in the bank if you can think like a uh, like a music pro uh, a music engineer or a music producer they're thinking about money once they get a song out there it's money to them because they got it's like studio time Big, uh, if you've ever been into, into a music, big huge music studio, big mixers, they work with big humongous sound mixers. Uh, these are like mixing consoles, big huge mixing consoles, take up this whole of this room. Uh, and uh, big studio speakers, the most part of the, uh, you can't have a mi mi uh, mixing console without speakers, and I do mean speakers. Uh, they work with the best in the in today. They'll tell you what they use in their music studios. Uh, these are like studio quality speakers, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, they're like Ford speakers. They're not like uh, in the sides of the area. And they used a big humongous horn, horns uh, for the tweet for the tinny sound or the tweet uh, tweeter sound. Yeah, and so like I said, this lady is celebrating her her song for 25 years later. I was just listening to it the other day, and I kid you not, this is the uh, song that anybody should. Uh, it's a dance song. If you hear it, it's like a dance song, but it's it's very controversial because due to the title of the song. Yeah. But they did have a clean version, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. It, they did have a clean version. It wasn't the uh, uncensored version, you know, where they say everything in the song. Um, the un uh, uncensored version. They call it the uncensored version, where they say everything nastiness. Um, it's like N.W.A. with their uh, with their songs. And back in the day. So anyway, I want to run by a whole bunch of topics. We're watching uh, in the background. You hear uh, news now live on Fox Fox TV on a live stream. Go to this channel. It's called YouTube.com Fox Ten Phoenix. Just type that in the way it is. It's on a live stream, and I'm so happy. I'm a happy camper today. I may not look that great, but I do look great. I'm I'm a best human, a best person I can be. My friend, who uh, my partner in crime, shall we say, passed away last year. I'm still reeling over that, but this year will be the first year him not being around. It's quite sad, quite very sad. Um, I I didn't think in my wildest mind that he could ever pass away like that, but. I think there was a telltale sign for him that uh, I think, I, uh, for me, I just never thought that could ever happen to him. But it did. It did. Last year was a big wake up call to me. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, it's one of those calls that people would say never want to get to hear with your family member passing away. And it did happen to me. I never thought that could ever happen. You know, I always hear other people passing away and they might get those calls where your family members, they got to tell you, they got to. You know, tell them that uh, their family members passed away. Uh, it's pretty sad for the person on the receiving end. They always say on the receiving end. I kid you not. Uh, but yeah, uh, you always get those calls. But uh, my call was really, really um, pretty sad. But I didn't cry about it. I just I was kind of delivered that he thought passed away. Uh, but anyway, we're watching news now on Fox. I'll give it a little plug for that. Um, what else? Oh, by the way, one other thing. Um, oh, the other day, the other day, this lady had a, a kidney transplant. <laughs> I kid you not. Uh, I kid you not. I, uh, this is no joke. 
Uh, sometimes, as humans on this planet, we do have organs in our bodies. Uh, doesn't mean me, it means everybody else. We're not all robots on this planet. We didn't come from the robot planet. Uh, we're just humans. Humans can be fixed. That's why we have hospitals. That being said, kind of thing. Um, we have doctors and nurses who can patch us up. It's like in the war in the 1940s when you had the wars going on. They had their people. We got ours. In this day and age, we have hospitals. Doctors and nurses will make us feel better, not worse. They're trying to do is making you feel better than yourself. That's the whole idea. Uh, if you're illin, as uh, Rod MC would say, if you're illin, you know what to do. But anyway, nonetheless, thank God for the hospitals out there. Like today, if I weren't here today, 30 years later, 31 years later, didn't have my kidney transplant, I'd probably be dead in the middle of mid 90s, 1990s. But here I am, I have my testimony, as a lot of people would say on YouTube, testimony right here. I'm still alive, still kicking, and I'm not going to pass away until I'm 80 years old. Bear that in mind. 80 years old. That's, that's my thinking. I think when I'm seeing other people pass away at a ripe old age of 80, I think that's the cut-up point. Remember, in, uh, in people's years, uh, we can live till about 130, but, uh, you know, I've seen dad's mothers live to 100 years old. Even the Queen Elizabeth in London, England, what, she's 93 years old? She's the oldest queen in London, England. I kid you not, 93 years old. There's few people that beat her on an age bracket. But 93 years imagine being 93 years old in this world today. Seeing everything, seeing everything. Seeing World War I, World War II in the 40s and 50s. I mean, if that would happen today in 2019, it, it would not look good for the people today. Because we have social media to thank for. We have, uh, we, have YouTube, we have YouTube, we have Twitter. People would tweet out if there was a World Three going up on this planet, in the United States and Canada. If there was, you know, a civil unrest. They call, the, the, the term they call it a civil unrest, where uh, everybody doesn't know what to do. They have no direction, they have no, <laughs> you know, as uh, my friend once said, they have no compass. Yeah, you need a compass, you need a uh, direction where you're going. It's like a, it's like a GPS device. You know, people now today have in their vehicles GPS devices where it takes you from A to B. You need to get from here and you need to get way over there. That's, that's like point to point. Uh, you know, your GPS device is like a map. It's like a full, full map. Yeah. But anyway, enough said. I'll see you guys on the next podcast. By the way, hit that like button and you know what they say on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. And you'll get more videos from me. Signing off, we're going. We're, we're out of here. Thank you very much, everybody. Remember what they say on YouTube. Subscribe. Like, hit that like button. You know the deal. <laughs> I'm trying to laugh about it because I always hear these people say this. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. You'll get more videos from me. Trust me, you will. Um, what else could I say? Oh, um, if I can get a thousand likes, I'll be so happy. A thousand likes, a thousand views. I'm off to the races. Uh, and I want to hit that sub button. They, uh, the, uh, the, uh, this generation, or as they say, this generation of kids, they're learning the ropes of YouTube. Trust me, they're learning the ropes. The newcomers of YouTube are learning the ropes how to put a video out there uh, on YouTube and really, really get to be famous. They, they, they're going to be famous YouTubers, trust me. They're going to be famous YouTubers out there and they will get the subscriber base to their subscriber base, to their viewership, to their uh, uh, likes and dislikes. They can get their comment sections. What can I say? What can I say? But if you're a newcomer coming up on YouTube and you want to start your YouTube channel, just go through the channels. Just go through the channels, the rigmarole to start up that YouTube channel. And uh, trust me, I kid you not, you'll not, not have to look back on it. 
and you get a YouTube channel, you can post as many videos you want. Hey, even the shade tarts, and I mentioned about the shade tarts at one point. They had almost 500 videos up on YouTube. I kid you not. 500 videos. And this is the whole entire family. I kid you not. The whole entire family is in these videos. Every, they did a daily vlog. I kid you not, a daily vlog on YouTube. Now, people could do that, have a daily vlog every single day, and load up the videos on YouTube. Um, and really get the whole family going at it. Uh, uh, the whole family is all in the video, all in the YouTube video. I mean, if you can do that, that's great. You're off to the races there. Uh, but if you're on YouTube, because uh, the Shade Tarts, I don't know if you people realize that. Way back in my day, there was the Shade Tarts family. The whole entire family was on YouTube. Just the one YouTube channel they got. And they had their whole entire family on YouTube. I don't know why, but it's so rare. Bear that in mind. It's so rare to do that, you know. But yeah, the Shea Tarts or Shea Carl, as he's known on other channels, he he has another channel called Shea Carl, and I saw saw his video the other day. Uh, this briefly. Um, what else? What else? Yes. Yeah, so it takes it takes quite a while. Go for the uh, go through the rigmarole to get your YouTube channel out there. If you're newcomers. You just, you just, it takes time to get your YouTube going out there and get your subscriber base going. Uh, just, just look on YouTube, check, uh, check other people, how they got their YouTube channels up there. They'll probably do tutorials. They'll do tutorials on how to get your YouTube channel up and running, essentially. Uh, and you're off to the races. You're, you're like kid, you're like kid in a candy store or your first time at camp. They'll, they'll give you the step-by-step uh, -step how to get your YouTube up and running and get the subscriber base to your thumbs up to your uh, to your uh, subscriber base essentially the viewership up there There's, sometimes you might even get 1.2k viewers that's a lot of viewers that's a lot of viewers watching your videos that, mo that may be the whole entire universe seeing your videos I kid you not bro but anyway, I want to end this on a, a good note. Promise me, guys, you'll subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting fresh new... Uh, not, these are not videos. These are just like podcast sort of things. But I like to call it Dave Nation TV. It's called a brand new TV station, a station called Dave Nation TV. And I'll mention a lot of other YouTubers as well along the line. But, uh, yeah, I said earlier today that... There's a lot of people that uh, that a lot of YouTubers met other YouTubers on their YouTube channels. Uh, but I'll mention the other person next time on my next podcast. I want to give that I don't want to get that recognition right here. And um, if you ever want to start a YouTube channel, like anybody around the world, a young, a young kid wants to start up their YouTube channel, go through the tutorials on YouTube channel. It'll explain you very easily how to get a YouTube channel going, up and running. You can do a lot of vlogging, a lot of YouTube videos, get your subscriber base to your to your viewership, to your, uh, just like, if you had a subscriber base of a thousand subscribers, I do see that periodically on their YouTube channels. They got a thousand subscribers. I don't know how they do it, but they do. But like I said, they uh, just type in on YouTube, tutorial videos on YouTube. Type that in on the search bar, and uh, yeah, just do that, and you'll you'll be okay. Until then, see you all on the next. Sound like a country person. I'll see you all on the next YouTube channel. Until then, bye bye for now.